Typically, it takes about two years for the launch vehicle and satellite to be built, tested and shipped to the launch site. From crew and spacecraft arrival, it can take from four to seven weeks to complete a launch campaign. Today's launch begins with the early team arrival in Baikonur. The spacecraft arrives aboard an Antonov cargo jet at Ubelini Airfield. The spacecraft is offloaded from the plane and placed onto a railroad car. The thermally controlled rail car is hooked up to maintain the proper environmental conditions for the spacecraft during the six hour trip to the launch processing facilities. Once in the high bay, the spacecraft team does a series of system tests and other standalone operations, including fueling the spacecraft. Fueling of the spacecraft is then completed. The satellite is then mated to the Breeze M upper stage and rotated horizontally to be encapsulated in the payload fairing in Hall 101. The spacecraft, fairing and upper stage are now referred to as the ascent unit. The entire assembly is mated to the booster stages of the ILS Proton launch vehicle in Hall 111. The integrated launch vehicle is rolled to the Breeze M fueling station, where fueling of the Breeze M is completed. The complete rocket rolls out to the launch pad where the entire vehicle is changed from its horizontal position on the rail car to a vertical position on the launch pad. Then the service tower is moved into position. The mobile service tower provides services and accessibility to the launch vehicle and spacecraft. Proton rollout to the pad always occurs at exactly 6.30 in the morning, corresponding with the precise time the vehicle for Yuri Gagarin rolled out in 1961, marking this landmark anniversary in... Today's launch of the SES-6 satellite on ILS Proton is the result of an accumulation of a lot of hard work and long hours and everyone on the launch team is eagerly awaiting the liftoff. Teams are in their places in the launch bunker, the control rooms, ground stations and communication centres. And the final go for launch polling we mentioned earlier is being completed. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition start. We have liftoff of an ILS proton rocket from Pad 39 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the SES 6 satellite on board. It can be a little difficult to see, but at about 10 seconds after liftoff, the rocket does a roll manoeuvre and will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, which is the maximum aerodynamic load on the vehicle. For Proton, it corresponds to about Mark 1.6 and occurs at 1 minute 2 seconds after liftoff. Everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle heads across the Cosmodrome vertically in the northeasterly direction with a flight launch azimuth of approximately 61.3 degrees. It's an absolutely glorious day in Baikonur and the viewing for all the teams on the ground will be absolutely spectacular. They could probably see this as, the, as far as the eye can see. We're coming up on the first stage's separation from the second stage that is set to occur at two minutes into the flight. Watch for the halo effect as the second stage engines ignite prior to the separation from the first stage.
and we have confirmation of a good separation between the first and second stages. We have a signal of ignition on all four second stage engines. They will burn for a total of about three minutes and 27 seconds. The next key mission milestone will be stage 2-3 separation at L plus five minutes and 27 seconds. 20 seconds after that, the payload fairing pyros will fire, separating two halves and they will be jettisoned from the vehicle. Thank you, Kieran. As the ILS Proton travels easterly downrange, our viewers are going to notice a lag in our reporting of some key mission milestones. The reason behind this delay is that as ILS Proton follows its pre-programmed flight path, it's going to pass out of range of the Baikonur receiving stations, and the signals will be received at stations downrange and transmitted back to Baikonur, and this may cause those brief delays in reporting. So now there's a short video about SES-6 prepared by satellite manufacturer Astrium.